Citation searching allows you to find additional sources on your topic that are newer than the source you start with. Citation searching is also a clue to how influential or important an article or book is. Usually, the larger number of sources in the cited by list, the more impact the original source has had. In citation searching, you use a cited by list generated by a computer program which shows books or articles that have included your original source in their bibliographies. Here's a list of databases provided by the HSU Library that include cited by information. Some databases include cited by information in their item records, along with the citation and abstract. Here's an example from PsycInfo. Some databases include cited by information in less obvious places. Here is an example from Bio1, a science database. We will search for articles on endangered species and tigers. The abstract for the article, The Fate of Wild Tigers, includes a list of references cited. This is the bibliography for the article followed by the cited by list with two sources. But wait! If you put the title The Fate of Wild Tigers into Google Scholar, you get this. Google Scholar shows that 40 have cited this article. You may want to check more than one database for cited by information, since you are likely to get differing results. Not all articles or books will have cited by information available. Not everything gets cited, and not all databases provide this information. The more recently published a source is, the less time there has been for it to have an impact. The most recent articles are less likely to have cited by information. Often, being highly cited is an indication of high quality, but not always. An especially bad article may be cited frequently, particularly if it is on a controversial subject or is a good example of bad methodology, as in these examples from Google Scholar. Citation searching is an advanced skill because you must use your judgment with it. Remember, the cited by lists are generated by computers and are not nuanced. If you need help, please contact a reference librarian either in person at the reference desk, by phone during reference desk hours at 826-3418, or via the 24-7 question point chat service linked on the library homepage. In this video, you've seen how to use cited by information to find newer sources for your research, and you've seen that the number of citations to a given source can be an indication of the influence or importance of that source. You've learned how to find cited by information in Google Scholar and other databases, and you've been given a list of several databases that include this information. You've learned some cautions to bear in mind as you use cited by information.